Oh, it's real. Oh, it's real. Tap somebody on the shoulder and tell them. Oh, it's real. Al Matty is here. I want to tell you something that somebody online can testify to. Not just one. More than one. More than ten people. I bet if this video get around, more than 10 people can testify to what I'm about to say. Now, my dad that raised me, Carl Franks, I honor him for raising me. Teaching me how, if I have to, to take somebody down. Teaching me how to survive. I love them. I want to be quick. I want to be short and simple. Shouts out to all my people. I honor all my elders, aunties, and all those that are in authority. And I give honor in all due places because now I have social media. And I'm spreading the truth only for this purpose. Not trying to get on here just to look cute. No. I'm on here to shine for Allah. Allah has no sons. But Allah told me I'm his S-U-N. Now my dad Carl Franks can testify to this. There was a man. This man was by the name of Dates. Ain't gonna put all his first name out there. He go by Dates. And he had some very skinny legs. Very skinny legs. And he would come over in those times we would do what young boys do. And we would crack on him. We would mess with him. And Allah revealed to me about two months ago as I was in my bedroom. That I was going to take the Kaaba apart and I was going to put it in a specific location. My family can testify. I told all four of them in my house. Where I was going to put it exactly. I ain't telling you. I'm not telling you right now. And then about last week or so. Not even a full week, it feels like. That I learned that there was a hey deeth of a skinny black man taking apart the Kaaba. Taking it apart. A skinny black man. Thin-legged black man. Now, Allah has been guiding me my whole life. I was raised by a dad that wasn't even my biological dad. And I give honor in all due places. And they still love my dad because he raised me. And he still loved my dad. I'm still in respect of my dad. Okay. I was Al Matty my whole life. My whole life. And my dad can prophet. My dad can testify that I can tell you the truth that I prophesied to him as a kid. I told him. I said, Dad, go have me a house. I'm gonna be sipping boons. He can testify. Okay. Now I just wanted to drop. It like it was hot right there. That's real truth. According 
to the religion of Islam. There's a skinny black man on the way to take the Kaaba apart. And I was told I was that man before I even read it in the Hadith. Allah didn't tell me, but he guided me to the Hadith. And I'm that skinny black man that's going to do the job. Okay, I wanted to make it short and sweet tonight, giving honor in all due places, just because I may have accepted you as a friend and I may not have hollered. I work two jobs and I do messages every day. It's all love. Okay, all I can say is this. I'm a man of my word. I strive every day to be a man of my word. And I would never, ever try to proclaim to be something that I do not believe with every cell in my being I am. Okay? I can't deny who I am. And I would never deny myself. And I would never portray to be somebody I am not. Never. That's never been me. I've always been Daekwant. Always been Daekwant. Okay, Octane, the hood apostle. Okay, so check out the store. I wore a shirt in the video. Okay, if the shirt don't look right, I'm going to make sure everybody get their money back. But we need to get this truth out, especially amongst my people, since I just spoke a word of prophecy. My dad can testify to Mr. Dates. That would come over. Allah wanted me to see him. You know why? Because Mr. Dates was a mirror for me to look at myself. I am the man that is going to take the Kaaba apart. And I'm going to bring it to my specific location. That Allah wants me to put it now a lot of the stuff i'm saying some of my people that's older that's my family or kin to me you may not understand it's it's advanced but if you're from fort wayne remember the man who was on anthony street and he would say god is on his way now, all of Fort Wayne can testify to that. All of Fort Wayne can testify to that. That man was a picture of me. And my dad knows. I used to talk to my dad about that man. Even when I got out of prison after my conversion. So-called conversion in Christianity. Okay? It's real. Now, my people, y'all don't know nothing about an Almaty, okay? I can't assume all of y'all don't, but it's something in Islam, okay? But the Arabians know exactly what I'm talking about. And Allah chose me, although I know no Arabic. And he's been guiding me thus far. Let's just get the truth out. Let's not despise the prophecy because if you spit up, it's going to fall right in your face. Now, I got a testimony. I'm going to give you a testimony. About less than a week and a half ago, I asked Allah for some money. I said, Allah, could you bring me to the forefront? And I said, I'm going to need some money. Then I didn't feel like I asked him right. So later on that week, I said, you know, I don't feel like I asked you right. I said, you know, can I, can I please get some cash? I want to start walking into my blessing since all this money is mine anyway. Can I start walking into it? Okay, and this is what happened. I got a $6 raise.
Sunday. And then I got a check in the mail today. That was money that did belong to me, but I forgot all about it. Okay? It was something that I was supposed to have maybe 11 months ago. Then I had an $885 check with only my name on it. Daquant Lamonte Clay is our Maddie. Let me tell you something. The prayers of a righteous man pierce the clouds. And I'm telling you something. If you don't believe what I'm saying, just don't talk about me. And don't talk crazy. Just take note. Because the future is going to figure me out. And you can't run. And you can't get away from prophecy. Prophecy is going to figure everybody's out. Everybody is going to be figured out by prophecy. Okay, you can't escape it just like you can't escape Saba, Sheba. I like to call it Say Bye Bye, the 34th book of the Quran, where it says, The hour shall inevitably, inevitably come upon you, and you shall not escape it. And that's the 34th book of the Quran, the end. Assalamu alaikum. Pump this truth. Get this word out. Let my people know I love them. I'm here.